Good day everyone, it's David here, Arif Shop. Over the last few weeks we um, started to focus on getting antenna kits ready, specifically with the intention of getting a couple of really decent solutions for typical modems here in Australia, or even globally if you want to look at it that way. Um, so last week I um, tested it on the Huawei B818. We will do the other modem tests as well, but today I just want to focus on the Omni antenna that we are going to focus on as far as the 5G radio range. Now, Pointing Antennas just announced and released the Expo 1 5G version basically a month ago and we got our first stock earlier this week. So this is the antenna. Uh, in a kit we will of course combine it with a, a little TS9 pigtail. So you'll have the antenna itself, which I'll explain just, just now coming with a pigtail with the SMA connector going into a TS9 so gives you the option to use this antenna with a Nighthawk or B818 or any of the modems that uses TS9 or the antenna itself so here comes the unboxing part of this, this demonstration so the x one I'm pretty excited about this thing because I could see quite a few use cases where this is going to be um, exceptionally handy here in Australia. So there you go. That's what's in the um, in the box for an Expo One. You get the antenna. It's actually it's quite big for a small Omni, but the um, it, it's it has a few features here that I'm really excited about that I'll mention just now. Um, first thing is it comes with five meter cables, so two five meter cables for the two by two Marmo antenna, terminated in SMA. So that's the antenna itself. The bracket is a plastic bracket. It comes in the box already pre-assembled, so you get it like this. And I'll just make a mention about. Well, let's do it now. When I open it up, I initially thought this is all one fixed setup. Um, you actually can loosen the nut at the bottom and remove it from the bracket. So you um, you have to separate, which you can obviously remove completely, but there's no need. The one thing that initially caught me makes a lot of sense, but you see there's actually um, a bit of a rip on there. So it's loose, but once it's in, it's locked and you can't turn this thing. So you can basically set it up and then have it fixed in that position. If you want to move it, you have to lift it up, put it in position again. Don't try to force this. I mean, that's what we almost did. So I almost stripped this whole thing. So definitely be careful of that just to put that in. And once you have the position you want, you just seal it up again and there you go. That's all ready. The other things in the box, of course, you need the paperwork, which um, that, that's always useful. So have a read at this. I'm not going to read through this now in the video because that's stuff that you can do yourself. There's no new use, <laughs> but the basics with the mechanics. So you have the um, bracket itself. You just look at the bracket. There's the bracket. It is explained in the paperwork and on the data sheet. You have one pipe clamp. So with a pipe clamp that would go through this section, you can um, attach this to any pole or pipe and obviously if this isn't big enough you could go for a bigger one. Um, you have four screws so think about a concrete setup or anything else this is really getting you started on the concrete but if you need something else there are your four mounting holes you can use for any flat structure so again that um, gets you what you need. What's really cool I mean it, it, obviously initially you, um, you know, just have to have a bit of a laugh because it's it's funny you don't associate this with um, high-tech products but it makes so much sense I actually love this idea um, I'm told in Europe this antenna can be used in like, the high-rise buildings and flats so you even if you are inside this allows you to put this antenna which is really not heavy um, oh, the weight is somewhere on there but yeah <laughs> okay it, it weighs a few grams um, mounted on the outside of a window so you can you know, use a suction cup and mount it on the outside of a window here in Australia, for me, oh, I, mean, I think it's amazing. If you if you think about a temporary setup with your caravan, if you think about a boat or anything, they, they all have flat, smooth surfaces. You can have this antenna, which is really portable and small. You keep it on the inside, take it with you, go outside, set it up and connect this to your, um, your modem that you have. Um, that makes so much sense. I think it, it's really going to be great. Now, what as an antenna engineer, what I love about this antenna, is the very first word they use on the data sheet as well, cross-polarized. You don't get a lot of Omni antennas that can be cross-polarized just by the way that it is. So it means that you have polarization plus or minus 45 or whatever method they use, but it's cross-polarized. So you have two completely independent polarizations coming out of this antenna. 
which means you can get fairly decent MIMO, which is not always the case, because specifically if you look at the lower cost Omni antennas out there, um, it's still one tube and they say it's MIMO, but if you look at the detail, they basically just jam two dipole or a range of dipoles in there. This thing being cross-polarized really gives you the edge in terms of MIMO performance for a, a, a small Omni like this, which is, um, I think that's going to be super important here. Um, of course, the frequency band, 698 to 3800 megahertz, gives you band 28, so the lowest frequency band we need to have 4G in in Australia, up to 3.8 gig, that makes it 5G ready. So if you get this antenna, it will be functional anywhere in this country. Um, that's just, what do you want? Um, it's an Omni, 4G, 5G ready, yes, that's already mentioned. IP65, so if this thing, is upright and it's I mean it can can withstand a storm or two it it'll be fine so definitely for your um, recreational user um, both on water or in land this is this is a very good option um, and then what is exciting going forward is there's also a 4x4 MIMO version coming out soon um, I believe in the next month or so and then you can have 4x4 MIMO which is something needed for 5G this one of course is ready for 5G and with the two antenna ports and the um, actual kit itself it's ready on it, it is ideal on 4G and it's ready for 5G the 4x4 MIMO is actually getting you one step further into the 5G world um, that's really it so super excited about this antenna now what I'm going to do now is just going to connect it to one of my test uh, machines to show you the um, actual, just the return loss for VSWR. So if you just want to hang around and just have a look at the uh, engineering measurement, just give me a second, I'll set it up. Um, I'll be back. Okay, I thought it, it's um, probably useful just to demonstrate the antenna as a, as a design function rather than just putting it on the actual modem itself. So what I have here is, um, it's our MagiQ test test VNA that we, um, we use for all sorts of work um, and I want to see if this antenna is really uh, you know, m impedance matched over the frequency band as advertised so basically return loss means the antenna takes the energy and then doesn't just reflect it back into your radio it actually takes the energy and then passes it on to the outside world so that's in a very basic nutshell what we, um, what we measure if we do this measurement um, so what I have, I have the, um, the, the software running, I, I'm only going to look at one port, um, I terminate the other port into 50 ohms, so just to make sure that any coupling or anything that could happen with this antenna is not just going into an open port, but it all gets, gets control. So what I'll do, as I'm busy, just have a look as well, again, um, I just love this stuff, the um, pointing have this little um, nut that they put on top of an SMA that makes the um, actual screwing in quite easy, um, finger tight. So it's still in its own coil, so I'll just leave it at that for now because this is still a product that we can use. Um, I'll put it into my test port and you'll see that my measurement immediately starts to, um, to change on my screen there. So what I want to see is at 700 meg, which is down here on the left, uh, where's my mouse, there's my mouse, that area there, it should be matched to 2 to 1 or minus 10 dBm return loss. And then as you see, it starts there and it goes and it's completely matched at um, up to high frequencies as well. Of course, this is a messy environment. Um, you can't see the actual surroundings, but there's a lot of metal above me and so forth. So this is not ideal, but this is definitely a good indication. Poor man's test, really just to see is the antenna working. You put your hand closer to it and see if the um, curve itself is actually changing which it definitely does, and it does it from all angles as I go. So, yeah, it's, 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 it's an antenna, it's reacting, it's behaving as it should, and it's well matched. So, as far as I'm concerned, I'm super excited about getting this antenna, uh, well, it is on our website already. Um, you know, just get it out there and have people use it and then get some feedback from the customers itself. I'm just gonna put it onto the Huawei B818 now, so we can just see this antenna in action. Again, it's inside, so it might not be ideal, but I'll put the suction cups on, gonna put it on a whiteboard, and then we'll see how it works on the B818. So, let's go to that. Thank you. Okay, I'm here. Now, I think the value of an um, unboxing video is you need to show the good and the bad, and I thought I'll just pop in quickly the um, suction cups, and although I like them, they're actually quite hard. So, um, what I just wanted to do is, before I do the next one, I've done one, just want to do it on camera so you can see there's a bit of tooling involved and 
If I'm doing it wrong, please tell me. And if somebody from pointing or the um, distributors are watching this and telling me, David, you're all doing it all wrong, please let me know. But this is what I'm doing on camera as a, as a new customer for suction cups. <laughs> You know, this, this little thing has to be um, squashed into that hole. Once it's in, it's perfect, it's great. But um, to get it in is, yeah, it's not easy. So I'll just do this, I'll push it in, and then I, I, I got this tool and it's time to get it in. Uh, I'm probably gonna fast forward because this is taking even longer than I thought it would. Oh, it's in cool happiness now there is a bit of a lock thing at the back so if i put that in i don't think this is going to go anywhere now because i'm going to put it against the wall like that for the demonstration i'm putting it at this angle close it and suction cup and we see what we get now this is the setup that i just um, <clears throat> discussed last week on a video so if I connect the external antennas it will automatically switch to external antennas so I open up my antenna at the back plug it in first antenna one which I did wrong in my first video then antenna two that's it I'm connected there, login for password, login, I'm in, so I have a full signal from Vodafone on an Optus modem as mentioned last week, go to home, ah, come on, advanced system, system settings, go down on that, antenna settings, expand, auto, external and external, so there we go. Connected, modem is connected, everything is good. So I can just leave that as is. Oh, actually, no, I just want to show you device information. Um, currently, I have, again, Argus RP is minus 91. Uh, signal to noise, 12 dB. Argus RQ, minus 8. So that's what I have. It's just indoors. That's the setup. But that's consistent with what I had last week. So, for the sake of showing, bandwidth. With this antenna, which is the Expo 1 5G version on my Vodafone SIM card on the B818. And I get today, it's a Friday afternoon. Download 160 megabits per second on that little antenna. Upload is, is 11. So there you go. That's the antenna in a nutshell. So if you like what we're doing, please um, subscribe to our channel. Uh, feel free to ask questions and let me know what you think, what else we should do. I see there's a lot of questions coming and I really appreciate that. Plus the feedback and more constructive suggestions. I, I really do appreciate that. Um, other than that, that's um, really it. Thanks for watching and um, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.